So I just got off work and I went to my old gym. God, my hair looks so haggard. Went to my old gym to cancel the membership because I can't afford it anymore. Because it's like $55. So I'm just going to start going to Gold's Gym. Which is only... Uh, 15, I think. So, and it's like two or three miles from my house, from my apartment, from where I live now. So, we start hitting the gym. Um, my girlfriend's brother and I, soon to be brother in law, <laughs> stupid. Him and I are going to be going to the gym because my gym membership is open. I already paid for this month because it took it out automatically. But I am going to be going every day. Holy shit, I'm speeding. I'm going to be going every day with him. And then once that membership stops over there at Lifetime, I'm going to be going to Colts Gym to start working out over there. So forward to that, I'm trying to lose some weight before summertime, just in general I need to, I'm, you know, uncomfortable at times, I will, at, like I can eat certain things and be fine and then I eat other things and my, from not exercising my metabolism is so slow that my stomach feels so bloated and disgusting and I just feel sick, I can't sit down, I can't you know, lay on the couch comfortably, I can't sleep, I snore, you know, I feel like such a fat ass when I try to put my shoes on, I have to hold my breath to bend my fat ass over, so, I'm gonna try to lose some weight, I'd like to get down to my high school weight, which was like, you know, between 200 and 210, and right now I went to the urgent care two days ago, and right now, I think I weigh like 257, I think is what it said. And that's outrageous. That's the highest I've ever weighed. So, my brother's girlfriend, or my brother's girlfriend, my girlfriend's brother, there you go, he did wrestling. So, he knows how to drop weight really fast and, you know, just exercise in general. He's really skinny. And his metabolism is through the roof, and he's just you know, about as skinny as I was. You know when I was younger so he's gonna help me out in the gym and help me lose some weight hopefully very soon you know I just it's it just sucks being fat I'm sick of being I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired and I want to lose the weight so I can feel good look good you know and not only am I doing it for myself, but I'd like to do it for my girlfriend because, you know, I wouldn't want to look at a fat slob every day, you know what I mean? Even though, even though that's not why she's mainly with me, because she says she loves me the either way, you know? So, but I would, like, I showed her a couple pictures from last, not last February, 2013, I lost like 35 pounds because I was, you know, I had gained some weight after high school, which everyone does. It's, you know, it's a natural thing. And uh, I lost, I don't know, 35 pounds, I think. I think at the end total was like 38. And I was back down to 206. And... I was looking really good. I was starting to lean out like really, really good and had a six pack going on and my traps looked really nice. Everything was just coming in real nice because I was dieting and, and I was just watching what I was eating and going to the gym faithfully every day for about two months and I dropped a lot of weight really fast. So I would like to lose some weight again and I felt great. I had shitload of energy. I could bend over and breathe perfectly fine. I could tie my shoes. I just, and the energy part was just amazing. I'd wake up, feel energized, ready for the day, ready, let's go. And lately, you know, it's just been getting worse. And I do have this thyroid issue, but I'm not going to use it as an excuse because I did lose the weight, you know, two years ago or a year ago, whatever. It's about two years ago. And I had the same thyroid issue and I still lost all the weight. It's just a matter of me 
getting into the gym. Are you serious? You stupid mother. So, it's just a matter of me getting off my lazy ass and getting in the gym and actually putting in the work and the time. Because no one, I have no one else to blame but myself. And no one's gonna do the work for me. That's what people gotta understand. If you want something, you're gonna have to work for it. People that, those people out there that get things handed to them get nowhere in life. You have nothing to show for what, how hard you've worked for stuff. So, I just wanted to make sure this thing was recording. So yeah, I just, I want to work hard at it. That's how I've always been. Everything I've ever had or done, I've worked hard for myself for it. And I just, I really want to lose weight. I, I need to lose weight. I, you know, I have to. I have high blood pressure because of my weight. My head's always hurt. I just feel sick. I don't feel as energized as I used to. You know, I'm still at a very young age to where shouldn't be feeling this way so and then, you know and I, yeah I want to do it for my girlfriend and yeah I want to look nice and everything but I, I got to do it for myself you know I I just I don't feel as comfortable taking off my shirt anymore like I used to you know I feel like a fat ass and I just I don't feel comfortable anymore and I want to have that comfortability again so, I'm going to be hitting the gym pretty, you know, hard as fuck these, this next month with my girlfriend's little brother. But I'll do some weigh-ins and see what's going on. And, yeah, so, headed home right now to go eat some food. I'm starving. I think we're getting some wings, something like that. I'm just really, really hungry. <laughs> just got off work. It's about 3 o'clock. I don't know if you guys can see it in there. It's like 3.07. Oh, shit. And I'm headed home. Let's go. There's a cop right here next to me.